Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. How are you? Hello, 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 hello. I can see here, uh, Mili, hello, Mili, Roberto, Stephanie, Juan David, and Norma. Good evening. Oh my God, hello, everybody. So let's see. Oh my goodness, because it's Friday, not many people is online. So what happens? People don't like Fridays, but we have classes on Fridays too. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. Let me just go ahead and load the presentation. Give me one quick second. Let's see who else is here. Sandra, Renee, it's already in. Nelson also. Hello, hello. Patricia Garcia, it's joining the class right now. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. I'm about to... Irma also. Hello, Irma. Oh, Juan David is going to participate tonight. Amazing, amazing. First volunteer. <laughs> Ay, teacher. <laughs> what happens? Rene, hello. Ingrid, hello, hello. All right, so. Very good, very good. Excellent. Okay, I'm sharing my screen right now, so you should be able to see it in a couple of minutes. Well, seconds. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you, right? So I apologize. It normally takes a couple of minutes for this to load, right? But let's see. Everybody, officially, welcome to the class. Thank you so much for participating in these activities. We are going to start with like everybody's favorite activity at the beginning of the class, which is going to be, uh -huh, yes, 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 a tongue twister. I decided to have this tongue twister tonight because someone, I'm not going to tell you who, but someone in the class says, teacher, you always bring tongue twisters with the letter R. I said, okay, let's change it. All right, so now we have tongue twisters with the sound all right, so let's see this one. So we have, she sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Like that one, easy peasy lemon squeezy, easy as ABC, a piece of cake. All right, so let's just go ahead and review this one. Remember, she sells seashells by the seashore. The shells or shells? Ah, there you go. Shells. She sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells the seashore shells. All right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much on this one. So one more time. And it has to be... Two minutes, my friend, two minutes, two minutes to practice this, all right? So I know you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, all right? So we'll be like, she sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells seashell shells, like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my God, another listener, who's that one? Okay, Patricia, that's fine. Sometimes I would like to be a listener too. What about that, huh? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Possible volunteers, possible volunteers. Yes, 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 yes. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead.
the right, the right, the right. Yes, yes, yes. Practicing, 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 practicing. practicing. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Very good, very good. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Very good, very good. Time's up, time's up, time's up, time's up, time's up. All right, excellent. Who is going to be my first volunteer right now? Tell me. <clears throat> all right, hey, George, good to see you, my friend. How are you? Fine, thanks for you. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. All right. Yeah. How was the trip? Nice? Uh, yeah, it was nice. Great, great. Welcome back. All right, Roberto, Thank go ahead. Okay. Uh, Chisels, seashells by the seashore. The shell she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells seashore shells. There you go, my friend. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank All you. right. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Rene. Excellent. Rene, go ahead, my friend. Seashell, seashell by the seashore. The shell, seashells, I'm sure on the seashell. So is seashell shells on the seashore? I'm sure seashell, seashore shells. All right, very good. Excellent. So you knew that one. You already knew it, right? So very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so... Who's next one? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Let's see. That was one. All right, go ahead. Okay. She sells seashell by the seashore. The shell she sells are sure, uh, sure, surely, uh, surely seashell. So if she sells shells on the seashore, I am sure she sells seashore shells. Very good. Excellent. 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 So like that one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So who's going to be here? My next volunteer, my friends. Let's see. Irma. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Mealy. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Or George also. Of course, I, I can. Of course. Go ahead. She sells seashells by the seashore. Mm -hmm. The shells she sells are surely seashells. Mm -hmm. So if she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells seashore shells. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much, my friend. Super good as usual. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you. Uh -huh. Who else? No. Mili, what are you waiting for? Come on, go ahead. You know you have to participate. Okay. Uh, she sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are surely, <laughs> are surely. <laughs> she sells <laughs> she sells seashells by the seashore. The shell she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells <laughs> on the seashore. I'm sure they sell. Seashore shells. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. Thank you. See, it was like hard, but you did it, right? So I already saw my next volunteer join the class. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So all right, my next volunteer. Uh-huh. What else we have? We can have different people. You know, there are people that I have never heard participating in the class. Like, well. Carlos Jose Asensio, which is there, but, you know, doesn't connect the audio. Uh, Stephanie Quintanilla, what was the last time you participated, honey? All right, so, Sandra Elizabeth, thank you, all right? So, uh-huh, thank you, thank you. She sells seashells by the seashore. 
the shells chisel are surely seashells of so if she sell sell on the seashore, I am sure she sell seashore shells. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So who's the next one right here? Oh, Patty. Hello. Thank you. All right. I'm here, teacher. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Oh, she uh, she sells seashells by the seashore. She's she, oh my god. The <laughs> shells she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells of the seashores, I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Oh my God. All right, awesome. Thank you very much. All right, so we're going to stop right here with this activity. You guys were doing a very good job. If I'm not mistaken, this is the second time we practice this tone twister, so you were more familiar with it. All right, so good job. So let's continue here. Okay, excellent. So, well, everybody here, we have a review about the topic that we were covering last night, right? Remember, we were just like talking between simple past or past perfect, all right? So here we have a very easy exercise. Take a look, what's the exercise about? Well, you have here two options. This is going to be the simple past form of the verb or the past a perfect form of the verb. So you need to read the sentence right here and determine which is the correct answer there, all right? So. Let's see here, in this case, it says, she to the party before everyone else arrived. So what will be the answer here? Came B. or had some? B. 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 That is correct, that is correct, that is correct. How do we know that one? Well, we have a sentence here in Spanish, everybody else arrived, and it says here before, and we know that past perfect is the past of the past, all right, so good. Then, thank you, all right? So let's see, number two, it says, this has two uh, answers there, all right? So we, or homework after we, dinner, all right? So what's the correct answer? Did. All right, we did our homework, and after we ate dinner. So you're saying letter A or letter B? Mm. We have done. After we had eaten. <laughs> yes. Mm, I had eaten. I think better A is okay. Yes, it will fit better than the next one because it is possible yes. to have double past but not double present uh, past perfect, right? So yeah, that's, that's correct. Right. That's right, thank you. All right, so let's see, let's see. That's the reason why. And also because you're talking about a sequence and when we're not gonna talk about sequence, then we use the simple tenses like simple present, simple past or simple future. All right, so good. Then number three, it says he, his phone in the car before going to the store. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Left. Letter B. All right. So, he le había dejado su teléfono en el carro antes de ir a la tienda. All right. So, yes. Letter yes B. No, people? This one, right? Yes. yes. Very good. Excellent. So, we're going to just complete it. All right. Good job. Thank you. Number four. Number four. What's number four? They had finished. The game before yeah. they realized what time it was. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Letter B. Much. Letter B. Excellent. Then we go with number five. Can somebody help me read him? Yo, yo, yo. Letter A. Letter A. So I. Uh -uh. I don't know, sorry. Letter B, I have letter read B. the book. I have letter read. B. Remember yeah. that the past, I mean, the verb read, it's pronounced read in present. But when you talk about past or past participle, it's going to be read, like the color. Right? Read. Yes. Exactly. So I have read the book by the time the movie started. And then we have the last one. By the time he got home, his dog. Was. 
What's waiting for him at the door? Mm -hmm. What's waiting for him? Are you sure? I don't think he was waiting for him. I've been waiting for him. Why did I? He got on. Now, letter B has oh. been waiting for him. Exactly. All right. So, I'll because be if you go on this one, it says, para la hora que llegó a la casa, su perro había estado esperando por él. All right. Mm -hmm. So, like that one. Good, good, good. Excellent. So, questions, vocabulary, or any of them that you might have questions about? No? Can I continue? Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. So, let's see what we have for today. So this is like the, the grammar section for tonight, all right? So we're going to use the noun phrases containing relative clauses, right? So, well, this is actually something here uh, that we can say about this one, right? How do we use it? Well, it says right here, take a look. One thing I really miss is like this one right here. All right, so this is just a, a phrase that is going to be like, um, adding more information to a phrase that you're saying right here. So for example, uh, it says right here, one thing you can use that or without that, that I would really miss. So what is this one, all right? So how would you translate that into Spanish, my friends? La cosa que yo realmente extraño. I had- Algo, algo. Uh, one algo thing. What is algo uh, que realmente extraño es la, la comida, comida de mi mamá. mamá. Like algo que la yo comida. realmente extraño o extrañaría. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, I would miss. Extrañaría. extrañaría. I would miss. You go exactly right. So, uh, you know, a relative um, clause connects ideas by using pronouns uh, that relate to something previously um, mentioned, right? And allows, like you know, you as a speaker or writer. To independent uh, to combine two independent uh, clauses, right? So, like this one. Then, um, with this one right here, it says my mom's cooking. So this is actually one thing here that I'm going to join, like this one. So one thing that I really miss is, or you can use it as a subject. Es decir, uh, as like the most important part of the sentence. All right. Qué es lo que extraño? One thing that I would really miss. All right. So it's my mom's cooking. Then as an object, my mom's cooking is one thing that I will really miss. So basically it's just the same idea. We just actually use it as a subject at the beginning and as an object at the end, all right? So like for example, the second one, what it says, something that I will be nervous about, it's making new friends. Making new friends is something that I will be nervous about, all right? So like that. Um, as you can see it, what's the difference between those two here, well, those two um, sentences? that in one I'm using um, as a subject and the other one I use it as an object, right? So who can help me to translate the second example? Uh -huh. Algo sobre lo que yo estaría nervioso. Mm -hmm. De hacer nuevas amistades. Hacer nuevas amistades, exactly. All right, so that's just basically the whole thing there. All right, so and then um, when it's on like this one, all right, so it's just basically these things right here. Okay, very good. Now, uh, questions about this at the moment? Yes or no? No. All right, excellent. So let's just go on this one. Uh, then we go with the next one. Two people who or that I will email every day are my parents. My parents are two people who I will, who, who or that I will email every day. So let's just go on this one right here. So now how would you translate the last two? That example that the word email is used as a verb. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dos personas a las que yo, ¿cómo diría? 
Me enseñaría, Escribiría, escribiría cada día. Mm. So. All right, so like that one. So we're talking about, this is a very old, I would say book, all right? So before texting, so I would change email for texting, all right? So because now we use WhatsApp or any other app, uh, texting app like Messenger or Telegram, all right? So in, um, you know, What's what's the difference between a noun clause and a noun phrase? Well, both noun and clause, um, noun phrases are groups of words that work together as a single noun, right? The difference is that the noun clauses, all right, so uh, contain a verb, but noun phrases do not contain a verb, all right? So uh, like that one. So noun clauses are usually start with the relative pronoun, and whereas the phrases do not. And that's basically just like the way you want to express or would like to express here uh, this sentence right here, right? So, for example, how would you say, algo que me gustaría intentar sería viajar a otro país? How do you say that? Algo que me gustaría intentar sería viajar a otro país. Something I, 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 would, I, would, I would try. Something I would, I would try. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, would yeah. like to try. Right. I would like to try. Uh -huh. To travel to different country, for example, right? Would be, would be to travel. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, well, something that you need to pay attention to here, it's just this one. So, when you see this one right here as a subject, and when you see that at the, at the end as an object, but basically the idea it's the same. We just talk about the position and how to use it. You know, there's not a, uh, like a big deal on this one, it's not rocket science, right? It's just about uh, using them. All right, so then, uh, questions at the moment or something that is not really clear about this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. All right, excellent. Let's just work on an exercise so maybe we can actually understand this better and perhaps we can get some like uh, food. Oh my God, look at that picture of food there. Oh, Jesus. All right. So let's see. It says here, the exercise. All right. Can somebody help me to read just the instruction, this part right here? Okay, teacher, complete these sentences about living in the foreign uh, country. Brain? Brain okay, country. country. You see the phrase in below, then compare it with a partner. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent, thank you. All right, so those phrases that you have right here, eh, it's just like a... Eh, like the phrases that we see here, my friends, my family, getting sick, trying new foods, my favorite food, my room at home, making new friends, being away from home, speaking a new language, getting lost in a new city, not understanding people, getting used to a different culture right here, all right? So like this one, in this case right here, you need to understand something here, all right? So eh, remember que estas, eh, as you said it before here, estas relative, like, like noun phrases, right, sustituyen al sujeto o al objeto en una oración, right? They substitute the object and the subject in a sentence, right? In a regular sentence, it would be, eh, I would really miss my mom's cooking, all right? So, aquí empezaría la oración, right? I will really miss my mom's cooking, all right? But this one, I'm adding more information. Entonces, quedaría aquí la sentence como, like, something or one thing that I would really miss. Entonces, ya todo eso se vuelve el sujeto. All right, so one thing that I would really miss. Ya no sería yo, no estoy hablando de yo, I'm not talking about me, myself, or I'm talking about like one thing that I would really miss. So talking about this one, let's just continue with the exercise right here. For example, it says, one thing that I will definitely be fascinated by is, and then you can choose one of those to continue with the sentence. Which one would you choose for number one? Trading, trading, trading new foods. Trying new foods. All right. So you are saying here, trying new foods. Mm -hmm. Let's see. One second. Oops, that's too big. Let's make it smaller. No, that's more. Trying new foods.
There you go. Mm -hmm. He said trying new foods. Excellent. So we cannot use it anymore. Okay. What about number two? Some is something that I will really miss. Roberto, my go family. ahead. Go ahead. My family. My family. My who? My who? My, my family. family. All right. Excellent. All right. So, Excellent. So my family. Also my favorite food. Could be, right? It could be something right here. It could be hey, my family, my favorite food, my girlfriend. Uh, my friends, etc. Right. So we we'll start with my family. I'm gonna abbreviate it because of the space. All right. So my family. All right. So good, excellent. I want. I have a question for you here. In the exercise number one, in the exercise number one, what it says, one thing that I will definitely be fascinated by is trying new foods. What is the subject in the sentence? Mm -hmm. Rephrase, rephrase. One thing I fascinated by. Exactly. So it starts in one and it ends in is. Yes, they as an object. All right. Pero in number two, in number two, what is it? My family. I'm sorry. It's an object. It's an My object. Family. Exactly. Family. Something that I will really miss. And the subject in that sentence is. My family. Yes. Yeah. In the number two. Thank you. All right. So two things that I will be homesick for are, remember what is homesick, my friends? When you miss your country, your city, your friends, right? Um, so not, two things I will be homesick are. Being away for, from home. My root at home. What do you say, George? You mentioned something about home. Be, being away from home. There you go. Excellent. Thank oh. you. So, so this one. Being. Away from home. There you go. Excellent, right? Being away from home. You got it. You got it. So we got here my my family and also being away from home. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So number four, number four are two things I will be anxious about. Oh, what will be like? It says two things. Two things, two things that I will be mentioning here. All right. Hmm? Two things that will make you feel anxious, people, what will they be? Getting lost. Yeah, you will be getting lost. Uh -huh. And what else? Getting used to a different culture. Yeah. Not understanding people. Not understanding people. Not understanding people could be one? Yes. Okay, not understanding people. Something that it will make me uh, feel like that. Excuse me about it. All right, so in, let's just go on that one. All right, so um, getting lost in a new city and not understanding people are two things that I will be anxious about. Will that make you feel anxious, people? In a different city, of course. Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course, right? So then number five, something that will depress me. Oh my goodness. All right. Something that would depress me is getting sick. Getting sick. Getting sick. Yeah, right. So of course. It's getting sick. All right. Getting sick. Getting sick. All right. I forgot the letter G, but you know, you understand it. <laughs> Just kidding. Let me drop it again. All right, getting, now yes, sick. Very good, very good, excellent. And number six, it says, uh -huh, it's one thing that I might be embarrassed about. Oh my God, what would that be, my friends? Making new friends. Speaking a new language, all right, so yeah, like that could be something like, that it might feel it might make you feel embarrassed, right? Speaking a new language. Speaking a new language. Very good. All right. So then number seven, the most uncomfortable thing will be what will be the most uncomfortable thing? Yep. Will be. 
-hmm. Hello. Maybe my microphone is not working. Hello, Make hello. <laughs> Which one would be like, you know, something uncomfortable? Making new friends. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would say making new friends. All right. So, mm -hmm. yeah, because mm -hmm. you're going to be like, hello, want to be my friend? All right. So, making new friends. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Now, what about number eight? All right. So, something from home that I will never miss. My favorite food. Oh. It's, no, because it's something from home. It was says that I will never, I will never, sorry, I will never meet. My room at home. Yeah, yeah. That could be like that one, my room at home, all right? So, you know, because my favorite food is something positive, right? So we cannot talk about this one, but my room at home, it's something that I can definitely want miss because it's, for example, too small, it's too dark, doesn't have windows, whatever, right? And like that. So then, number nine, one thing I will be insecure about is getting used to different culture. Getting used to a different culture. Getting used to a different culture. Yes. Oh, this one. Getting used to a different culture. Yes, yes, yes. And the last one, it says right here, are two things that I will be very enthusiastic about. What will be that one? Speaking a new language can be. Could be. Speaking of a new language, right? So you can repeat it, of course, right? Um, yes. Uh -huh. Speaking a new language, what else? And making new friends. friends. Mm -hmm. Making new making friends. Trying to find my favorite food. Trying your favorite food, right? Exactly. That's trying your favorite food. food. There you go. Excellent. So, any questions so far? Mm -hmm. No questions? No, 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 no. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. So, besides those phrases, is there anything that you would like to add, like personally speaking, about this? Another phrase that you would like to add? no no worries if you don't have questions for me you know i'll always have something else for you so let's see and i have seven questions right now people here so we can start with a conversation topic all right for tonight so we will have plenty of time to practice those questions right uh, like this one so number one it says who can help me with question number one my friends yep just reading, just reading, relax. You are not going to answer anything right now because we're going to practice later. But right now, tell me. Okay, go ahead, Roberto, read question number one. If you could live in a foreign country, what country would you like to live in and why? There you go, excellent. So, you know, talking about the countries, where would you like to live? Why would you like to live in that country? Um, You know, things like that, all right? So, um, you know, what, like... um ideas using would remember that for this one we're going to be using here would right i would like to live in canada i would like to live in mexico because of the food my friends yes all right so then number two thank you roberto number two volunteer for reading the question only yes Hi, come on, people. Just reading, just reading, just reading. Come on. Come on. Oh, what? Oh, what? What? Oh, what? Oh. What country would you like? Why? There you go. There so, you what, go. Country so what country you wouldn't, you wouldn't like, like to live in? Like mm -hmm. So, like that one. Like that one. Oh, like for example, like for example, I would say. I would say um, um, well, Israel, Israel, maybe, Israel, because maybe because they have too many towns. Can everybody, everybody. To go abroad with. Ah, to go mm -hmm. abroad means, means to, travel means to travel to another, to another country, country outside. outside. Well, who has, who has one second, my friends. 
someone has like a double microphone. Let me see right now. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess Carolina was asking the question, right? Or not? Well. Yes. Well. Yes, I was asking. Okay, excellent. Okay, so, excellent. Carolina, so traveling, Carolina abroad. traveling abroad. Ah, you were the ah, one with the double one. microphone. <laughs> All right. Excuse All right. me. No Sorry. worries. No worries. Uh, uh, living abroad living or going abroad, abroad, abroad means, abroad, means going, going to another, another country, country. Or living, or another living country. in another country. Like for, example, for, example, for, example, for example, if I am from El Salvador, from El Salvador, 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 but I go but to, I Mexico, go to Mexico, Mexico and I live in Mexico, Mexico now, now, so then so I am then living I am abroad. Understand? Understand? Thanks. Yes, I do. All right. Excellent. Thank you so much. All right, so then, uh, who can help me with the number three? Just reading, remember. Oh, thank you, George, for helping me with that one. Who is the person you will most like to go abroad with? Uh-huh, someone you would like to go abroad with, my friend, for example? My sister. Okay, that's an interesting answer, huh? Yep. All right, so very good, awesome. All right, so you could talk about a friend, my brother, my sister, my boyfriend, girlfriend, and couple, et cetera, right? And, well, let's just yeah. continue with this one. Number four, number four, who can help me with that one? Number four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys, remember, Come right on, now guys, we are remember, just right reading, now we are just answering. reading, not answering. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you, Carolina. Go ahead. Go ahead. Number four, what is something you would never travel without? Mm -hmm. Nowadays, something, Nowadays that, you something that you would you never, never travel, travel without. without. Besides the Besides cell phone. My cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the cell phone, of course, Besides right? The, cell phone. the passport. The, the passport. Absolutely. No passport, you are automatically illegal, my friend. Right. I know. Yes, 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 yes. Exactly. Thank you. Right. Money, of course. Thank you for that idea. Money, money. No money, no happiness. All right. So, etc. What? What about number five? Can somebody help me to read it? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sandra. Go ahead. Who is the person you will text after arriving somewhere new? Arriving, please repeat it. Arriving. There you go. Excellent. Arriving. There you go. Who's the person that you will um text as soon as as soon as you arrive? In my case, uh my cousin. Your cousin. Okay, very good. That's it. That's it. All right, excellent. Thank you. Now let's see who else can help me here with the number with the next one. I just can I see the numbers here? That is number six. Yes. Number six. Thank you. Oh, Juan David. Thank you. Okay. Number six. Yeah. What, uh, what will be your two great, great text uh, concert about a living abroad? All right, your mm. greatest concern. What's your greatest concern, my friend? I don't, I don't, I don't worry. Mm -hmm. Like, like, like something that it makes you feel really worried about living abroad. Mm -hmm. Concern, okay. worry. Got it? What is worried? Um, if I said Juan David, Juan David, I, I, don't worry. Yes, 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 yes. Don't uh, worry. What is yes. don't worry? Uh, is um, mm, um, I don't, I don't, I don't have a have a to place uh. Very rivet. Um, Excuse me. I don't. I don't have to replace the uh, where uh, a rivet. A, a rivet. 
Ah, mm -hmm. all right. The, I don't have a place to arrive, right? So anybody, uh, yes, or you don't yes. know anybody there. I understand now. Thank yes. you. Okay, very good. And my friends, who can help me with the last question? Yes, just reading. Who can help me with that one? Thank you, Millie. Appreciate it. What is the thing you will enjoy the most about living abroad? Mm -hmm. What is something that you will really enjoy about living abroad? Living new experiences, tasting new food, making new friends, finding the love of your life or a new love of your life. All right, so et cetera. So all those type of things. All right, excellent. So guys, we have gone question by question just to make sure that you understand exactly what the question is asking. Now, we are going to go to the breakout rooms so we can actually have conversations using the questions. Remember, you ask the question to your partner, then your partner asks the question to you, and you both share the answers for the seven questions there, all right? It's that clear, my friends? Yes, yes sir. Okay, excellent. So yes. I am okay, going to create yes. the breakout so rooms right now so you all, all can participate. And uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> let's see. All new people have joined this one. Very good. Okay, we create. Oh, right. So, very good. Excellent. Okay, excellent. So, please access to the rooms. Remember, if you are alone or your classmate, it's only as listener. All right. So, just let me know so I can move you to a different room. Please access to it. The questions are in the WhatsApp group. Questions are in the WhatsApp group. So join your um, rooms, my friends. Okay, anybody else from like the ones who are here are going to be able to join the room? Okay, cool. Hello, Mirna. Hello, teacher. My friend, I tried to send you to a different room. Uh, fíjese que yo no sé qué problemas son con mi Inter porque me ha sacado varias veces de la plataforma y no he entendido muy bien. Ok, excelente. Déjeme entonces moverla a otro room para que tenga chance de practicar. All right. Ok. Vamos a ver dónde está usted. Mira, mira. 
Let me move you, Mirna. Mirna, do me a favor, Mirna. I'm a forward, please. Diga. Eh, I'm a forward. Puede salirse de este room para que la pueda poner en otro. Ah, ok. Ok, perfecto. Se va a salir de la clase, güey. Ah, ok. Ajá. Del, yes. del room. Eh, room de... yes. Ah, ok. Allá. Ok, cool. Number <laughs> I Sorry, right, teacher, we have a little child. It was like, what was that, huh? Well, uh, Very gossiping. No, it was more like something that Milagro need to do. I don't know if you're comfortable to say that, Milagro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you can tell him. Well, she was about to make the toil. The the toffle or the, the toy? Toffle, yeah, the toffel, sorry. Okay, and so you want to like uh tips or suggestions or suffering experiences? Yes. Which one? I I was <laughs> asking Mary. Well, in my case, I, I never did the duffel. I want to make it in the future, but not now. And are you going to uh, make it like on paper or online? Milagro? Um, on paper, I, I guess. Okay, yeah, because when you do it on paper, so you have to go to a place and they mm -hmm. set a big speaker for the listening sections. It's not this like individual. Is this proof? Can it's, you see it? That's a version of like a TOEFL test um, for, yeah. Well, the ones that they, they for example, um, well, I cannot say names because, you know, I'm being recorded, right? But you know that school that is in front of Metro Centro? You know, next to Metro Galerias? Yeah. I, the... That one, that one. All right. So, yeah. So they actually prepared people for the um, TOEFL, right? And they are the only institution authorized by the American Embassy to, um, you know, to perform this type of test. So um, I, I took it there when I graduated from, from university. And... Um, you know, the one on paper, they only evaluate grammar, reading, mm -hmm. and listening. That's yeah. it. No speaking. Not writing. Not writing either. So those on those oh those three things only. All right. So that's the one as far as I remember, it's the only one I I remember I took. All right. So just like grammar, listening, and reading. Reading section, it's long. 
and hard. Uh, listening is easier, all right? So in grammar part, it's just like, you know, choosing between this or the other one, right? So, but I mean, like the grammar tenses, like the exercises we have been working in, like simple past or past uh, perfect, for example, things like that. Or sometimes you need to analyze and they say, please identify the subject in this sentence or identify the object or identify, you know, certain things there that they know about grammar. Remember that the English that they evaluate there, it's academic English. So everything like you have been preparing for in the classes is going to help you. I recommend you to take some online tests, um, you know, uh, just to see how the results are for you. So you can have mm -hmm. an idea about how you're doing and uh, you can feel more uh, prepared, right? Once you get the, the real one. Mm -hmm. There are they are going to prepare me in four sessions tomorrow I, I will I will have classes from 8 to 12 a.m and I'm really nervous you know it's you shouldn't worry about because you have a nice English level but you need to develop something uh, which is uh, scheming and scanning it, that is like uh, two activities for you to read. Like, for example, skimming is just like you go and read and like reading, um, you know, just to, to get the main idea, the main points, right? Then it's scamming, which is just like you're getting like the details, right? And trying to look for observations. And also you need to try to understand through context, you know, because sometimes the questions are like, what is, a, or like, for example, like the questions we have in front, all right? In question number three, what is the meaning of the word abroad? And they give you some options, right? To live in a different country, to live inside the country, to live with my mom, to live with my father, for example, right? Then you choose the one that makes more sense for you, right? So in, uh, you have to be patient actually with the reading section because it's the longest one, right? And oh, very, very difficult to it, understand. You know what? What happens is like you need to get used to the vocabulary. That's the reason why you should train using some tests online about uh, the TOEFL. So especially with the reading section, because that's vocabulary that we don't use every day. For example, I remember when I took TOEFL, uh, the reading was about uh, the stars, the galaxies, and all those type of things that I have yeah, never like talked it. about before, right? Like and, technical English. Mm -hmm, exactly, right? So hey, where did Mary go? She left you alone here, huh? Marrying is there, I'm sure. Marrying, marrying. Oh, no. She disappeared. Oh, she's back. <laughs> Mary, where yeah. do you go? Uh, I was about to write that in the group. The meeting took me out. <laughs> what? All right, excellent. So, girls, I will let you um practice because you only have five minutes and then at 10, at nine o'clock, you are telling me to, that they want to go home or anything like that. All right, so. Okay. Practice. Yeah. Okay. I, I will share the screen teacher. If, if, you, don't worry. if you have questions or you need more tips, text me so I can share some links and tips that I know that I used before. All right. Thanks, teacher. All right. Okay, Mary. If you could live in a foreign country, I see you like a social person. It is, uh, is, is, is a rare, right? It's, this is strange. Uh, uh, this is other personality. Um, is 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 very difficult. I yeah. say. I don't. <laughs> I don't say. Okay. 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 And I would like to to travel uh, with one of my children. Uh, oh. I think. Uh, uh, I think. I I would like to travel with my daughter because um we get a we get along I, I get along with her. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Teacher is I'm 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 saying in, in a correct way, I'm get along with her. Of course, because that's the uh phrase of birth to express that you have a nice relationship with someone it doesn't really matter if it is a relative or um you know a different person getting along means to have a nice relationship okay okay, okay. 
Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, Ingrid, uh, who is the person you will text after arriving somewhere new? Who is the person you will? Uh, my, my, my sister. Your sister. In yeah. In order to, to pick you up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always. <laughs> okay. And, and you, what that is? In case, uh, is is my mom. Um, mm. my mom and my my girlfriend. Yes, is only say I, I, <laughs> I don't worry for me. <laughs> it's his only. Okay. So I will text um to one of my children to it depends. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What what age you do uh, have your, your children? Sorry? What age? Uh um I have three children. Oh three. Uh, yes. I, three. I, 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 I think two. <laughs> no, no, I have three. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> two boys and a girl. Oh. And um, the oldest one is uh, almost 38. Wow. Um, yes. Nice. And my daughter is 30, 35, and the little one is 32. The little oh. one. <laughs> ah, my, my baby is my baby. Yes. <laughs> It's the same, same meals in nature. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, my same. goodness. Imagine so you're saying like my babies and that. I, I do really have babies now. Like yeah. Baby, baby, yeah. Right. yeah. How old are her? I, are she? Uh, how old is she? Uh, how old I got is she? two. Uh -huh. how old is she? I got two. Two, oh. two baby girls. Oh. The first oh. one. How old are them? The first one is six years old. All right. Okay. And, and the old... second one, it's re it's a it's it's a real baby actually. It's just six months old. Wow. Oh, it's, 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 it's a later baby. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So that's why you I said didn't... like and when you said like the baby one, I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a baby too. Yeah. Uh, right. so, yeah. <laughs> you know teacher for for mom children are always little yes, yeah that's yes, what my mom always. says about me and i'm really old yeah. yeah i think you're you're the baby for your mom well that's or my brother baby. all right uh -huh. okay <laughs> <laughs> okay so Georgia. that you know well, mothers, jealous, are you? <laughs> oh, now that you're a mother, I can ask this question to you. Do you have a favorite uh, child? Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you have a favorite child? Me? No, I don't. That's what all mothers and say. <laughs> no, only, only have one. Oh, the only one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, um, I'm not a favorite. I don't have a, a favorite, but I get along with my daughter more than the others maybe, maybe because, because like the voice the... right so yeah 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 maybe because of that and my my little boy <laughs> my baby is is married so the, so the youngest one it's the only one who's married yes that's the only one who's married unbelievable right yes mm -hmm. he got married in order to to travel to spain oh okay. and mm, to, so that was to a go smart there. move <laughs> yeah. so. that's nice that's nice all right so this gossip it's amazingly good but we have to go back to the main station right now okay teacher okay. thank you okay see you nice to, to to share with you in the break room okay yeah thanks <laughs> thanks okay Welcome back, everybody, to the main station over right here. So, yes, I know it's like time for you to go to bed, but we're just going to review one answer here from one of the questions. All right. So let's see. Oh um, that's it. I swear. Right. So we just go home to sleep after this one. Uh, well, 
let's see. I need one volunteer for asking the question and the second volunteer will answer the question. So the first person who's raised their hand is gonna be the one asking the question only. All right, who's gonna be that one? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Come on, raise your hand just to ask the question. All right, thank you, Patty. You choose mm -hmm. the person and then you ask the question. Okay, I'm gonna choose Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie. I don't think she's on, I mean, she's participating. Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, Rene? Rene, yeah, Rene. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what's the question, Patricia? Sorry, Patty. Uh, the, the first one? The one you prefer. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what will be your two greatest concerns about uh, living abroad? Okay, uh, uh, for me is uh, uh, the place to live and place to work because it's important have a, a, a space to to sleep and in, in, in a way to income money. To have an income. Okay, to have, I have an income. income. All right, so yeah, absolutely, right? So you cannot just go like, okay, here I am, now what, right? Especially if you have family, right? Yeah, yeah. To, to support, exactly, thank you. Well, everybody here, uh, okay. and let's see, now you, Rene, return the question to Patricia, the one you prefer. Ah, uh, okay, for uh, uh, Kimberly, our co-worker had a, a, a good speaking. He's oh, okay. The so, next Kimberly. No, you. All right. So. Okay. So what's 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 the question for Kimberly? Uh, what number four? What is something you will never travel without? Okay, Kimberly, we're so anxious to listen to you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, I think that there are like some things that you can not travel with um it could be the documentation um passports or any um, IDs, specific yes, ID. visa mm -hmm. sorry ids id mm -hmm. ids ids and or a specific on a specific visa if you travel in any country that asks for it as well it could be clothes in the basic things and another thing that I would not travel with is enough money because you don't know if you have an emergency so you will have you have to be prepared for that and for example if you lose a flight or if you have to travel um, in any specific date so you have to be prepared for that Okay, yeah, absolutely, right? So without the ID, as as, uh, as we were just talking before with George, you are illegal, right? So in a different country, mm -hmm. right? Even mm -hmm. in our country, if you don't have an ID to prove your identity, so you can go to prison nowadays. All right, so, well, everybody, it's a pleasure to be uh, with you tonight, right? So thank you for joining the class and, to particip and for participating in the activities. I hope you have a nice weekend and I will see you on Monday. Take care. Okay. Sure. See, you, see you on Monday. Monday. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. weekend. Happy 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 weekend.